Hey, this is Gabe. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about routers, not modems, but routers, and some jigs that I've made over the years, and a few useful different types of tools. So, with that, we'll get started. Now, when I first got started in woodworking, I used to subscribe to several different woodworking magazines, and um, most of the tools that I bought because I didn't have a uh, woodworking uh, supply store nearby. We didn't have Amazon. So uh, rather than uh, order something out of a magazine, I just went where a lot of other people went. That was Sears and I bought a lot of Craftsman tools. And like everybody else, replaced almost all those tools. So, um, I've spent a lot of money on routers and router bits over the years. Uh, my very first router that I bought was a fixed base Craftsman router. I think I probably paid $60 for it. It was a piece of junk and probably ruined three times that amount of money in wood before I threw it away. And uh, there wasn't anything worth keeping on that thing other than this base here that I made. I saw in a magazine where they had this particular jig and it was, um, I don't know, it was some whole plate and dust vacuum. It was for, uh, for dovetails. I thought, wow, that was a pretty cool idea. So, but it was, it was expensive. And uh, I ended up uh, hodgepodging this together, just using a shop vac attachment, a couple of screws, some black plastic that I had and uh, you know within a uh, half an hour I came up with this and uh, I used to have a Craftsman dovetail jig also which I probably used once and then 10 years later I couldn't even sell it at a garage sale so you know uh, that ended up I had to end up donating to a church thrift shop so that was a lot of money wasted uh, but anyway this jig was really cool. It was actually uh, featured one of my, I think my second jig that was featured in popular woodworking magazine. Uh, over the years, I've probably had about uh, seven or so uh, published jigs. And I have a couple of them, which I'll link uh, I'll link this one, a picture of it, uh, of the, uh, um, the actual jig itself. It was redrawn differently, so it was more universal uh, for other uh, types of routers. So they made it look a lot better than the way this looks. Uh, some different jigs that I bought, or excuse me, uh, router bits. I bought these uh, from Woodline. I was planning on making my own uh, plantation shutters which would have been really cool, uh, but never got around to doing that. Just ended up buying them. I bought a lot of specialty uh, half-inch router bits like these um, uh, for crown molding. This is my second one. One of the routers that I had, it fell apart, and then when, it, when I was using it, uh, it actually broke loose from the, uh, the table that I had made, and... Uh, it actually shattered the carbide, so this is the second one here. Uh, these are also from Woodline. Uh, this is a raised panel set. Uh, when I made my entertainment center, uh, I made it out of uh, Santos Mahogany, which is what this is. And then so I can get an idea, I decided to make a miniature scale of it. And uh, so I can know exactly what I was working with using these router bits. Uh, so it worked out really well. I used this actual router to do this because the uh, Craftsman router that I had, I, it was a three and a half horsepower, they're industrial, industrial piece of crap. Uh, I paid close to $400 for it one time. It only worked. I took it back to Sears and they said, oh, sorry, you can't return that, it's electrical. So anyway, uh, 
ever since ever since then I sort of uh, taken any uh, advantage I could to trash their electrical tools or power tools so anyway um, I ended up buying this one on the way home I think I got it at one of the home centers I probably paid 125 for it black and decker half inch soft start uh, I don't know what the horsepower is on this anymore it probably says it on the back I'm sure it does but this thing works unbelievably good. The only thing I did to this was I added a pool hose to this. Uh, I didn't have a connection for it to fit uh, for my shop vac. And uh, this thing's never clogged unless I, um, when I was using this wood, when I was using some soft wood, it clogged because it was taking really big chunks of wood. But other than that, this thing was amazing, this plunge router. And this particular jig here is the edge guide and uh, I use this when I made my um, columns on my entertainment center when I use these bits and it looks a little uh, little hokey but this jig works quite well This has got the holes here where these uh, slide in. Okay, it's got two stops, one in front and one in back. I drew a line right here because this is the center line on the, uh, of the router that's in line with the router bit. Now for my columns, on my entertainment center, uh, I think I had five flutes and my columns on my pergola, my patio outside, I had seven flutes. So I knew that, okay, uh, I got four here and uh, this is as far as this would go over. Um, let's see how that worked. Oh, that's right. The router slid across here. So I can go over to here. So that I knew all I had to do was line that up with here space. I and mean, you can use a piece of tape. I didn't uh, put a, a tape measure type tape. Um, I just wanted to keep it simple. That way I can draw and re-space everything that I wanted without getting confused with any unnecessary lines. And then when I was finished uh, doing that one side, I could either flip the jig over and start over again, or, or I could just uh, rotate this on the same thing. So this particular jig, and if your wood's sort of uneven, you could just take off the edge guide, but it works good to have two edge guides uh, that's why I put multiple holes here so that it'll center line and track whatever wood you're trying to you're trying to groove and there's some pictures uh, I'll show how this works So those are the only jigs that I have to share when it comes to working with the router. And um, if you've liked anything that I've shown, give us a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And um, let me know in the comments if there was something that I missed. And if I can find some other uh, drawings from some other uh, jigs that I had made, 
regarding the router router table that was in uh, popular woodworking magazine that was published I'll attach that to the end of the video and um, I think that's about it for now have a good day hey this is Gabriel Castro thanks for watching my YouTube channel you can click on the link right here and subscribe you can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.